Ireland is the food island, and Irish beef is highly prized the world over. The highest return for the farmer is to breed quality beef cattle. Top quality cattle are in demand for both the domestic and export markets. AI is the best way of producing the right quality to get the best market returns. I'm a fair while around in this business and uh, I have to say that AI calves stand out uh, from stock bulls. Uh, that has been the case as far back as, as, as I started in the 70s. Your catalogues there, you've all the top bulls in Ireland, top bulls in Europe. So why not go down that road? We're trying to go for the best cab that you can possibly get, and it's all about to put money in your pocket. We really have to try and exploit the sort of best genetics that, are, that is out there. I mean, the average suckler herd size in the country is 19, 20 cows. Firstly, I have 40 cows here, and then 40 cows, I'm using 100% AI. I'm getting the premium price for my weanlings. I'm averaging roughly between 300 and 350 euro over and above what the average price would be for a weanling. Ireland is one of the world's leaders in producing beef cattle. But where is the demand for Irish cattle, and what is the market looking for? The main market for Irish weanlings is the domestic market, and the introduction of the quality payment system, probably better known as a QPS, will, make, will increase the demand for them better quality weanlings. The differential in the past was negligible in some cases where farmers were paid in a flat rate system, but now what you're looking at is a €120 Euro differential between an average suckler bread weanling and a top quality suckler bread weanling, and that's really going to drive the demand among finishers for them top, top quality stock. I think the key message is that there are challenges out there facing the suckler sector, but there's no no doubt that the farmers that are producing quality are best positioned to capitalise on any increase in market prices. Irish beef exports last year was valued at almost 1.8 billion euro. Ireland produces over a half a million tonnes of beef annually. Of this, almost 90% is exported. Our principal market is the UK, to which we send about 50% of our output annually. After this, continental markets make up the vast majority of Irish beef exports. The animals that are going for export are commanding the higher prices, particularly the animals that are going to Italy, which is your U to E grade, and they are coming from AI. 56,000 Irish cattle were sent to Italy. This year it looks like there'll be over 80,000 Irish cattle sent to Italy. There's potential there for much more cattle. You know, if you were to take it that Italy every year imports more than 1 million cattle from France, and we're just a small percentage of that market. There's definitely substantial scope there for us to in increase that if we can deliver, you know, the consistency of product. So how are farmers going about meeting these challenges? Well, the challenges are always there and always growing, but I feel that there is a great need still to improve the system of breeding and the type of animals we're breeding for the various markets which are, you know, related to Irish cattle and I feel that the quality of weanlings which we're breeding at the moment is improving and also there's a lot of room to improve further with them. The producers that are going for the high end of the weanling market, a high proportion of them are using AI. I use 100% AI because it's the only way that you can operate an effective selective breeding policy to match uh, certain bulls of high calibre to, to the cows on farm. It's impossible nearly to buy, in my eyes, uh, uh, for a small number of cows, a good enough stock bull that will improve your genetic gain annually. High quality beef cattle mean higher prices, higher grades and better weight gain. Producing quality wins is key to achieving a high level of output from suckler production. I suppose a lot of farmers what they do is they look at confirmation as a key driver of quality but it's confirmation and weight. Certainly the targets would be bull winnings over 350 kilos at 9 months, heifer winnings over 300 kilos at 9 months. The rewards out there for producing quality are evident. Mark watch figures would show the difference that there is a reward out there of around 200 euros per head from the farmer producing, hitting them targets and the farmer that fails to hit them. What we aim for on this farm, already aim for, is a hundred weight a month gain minus the birth weight. So in other words, if you have a, a 10 month calf going for sale, he should be 450 kilos. A 12 month calf going for sale, 550 kilos, plus a U grade calf at the same time. 
and he has constantly been achieving that now, picking out the cup of that white Charlie cow there in the middle and the Boldy cow up on top. For the last two years, their calves has averaged approximately male calves 1,240 euro at the Med sale in October in Balashana. I am very lucky to be one of the 16 participants in the Better Farm programme. Part of the advice uh, would be to use more AI on the farm. It will be part and means of getting this gross profit up to a thousand euros per hectare by having better quality stock. Recently we sold a batch of six calves, average weight 370 kilos at 990 euro on average. This scrapes into just over 267 per kilo. These calves were bred by uh, DEP and OVO. I'm starting to bring in more heifers through AA, uh, which means I'm getting into a better cow and I'm using a better bull on them heifers then once we get them into the cow rotation. The, the grades have definitely gone up. You're using these, I'll put the extra pennies in your, your, your pocket. I definitely think that the, the breeding of AI in the sector of weanlings is a positive point. Why? Because we seem to get better results from AI cattle than we do from cattle which are bred by their own stock bulls. How are top producers using AI to meet the market demands? AI is handy. We find it handy enough now. It's working out very, very okay here. The key to producing top quality winglands is to match the bull to the cow. This is where you have AI coming in with a big advantage. When the AI man arrives, he has a large selection of bulls available. He also has a large amount of information available because uh, take our local AI man here would be doing 4,000 cows a year. He's going back into yards again, he's seeing the progeny, he's able to come back to me and say, well, this bull is performing well at this type of cow, and he can match the bull to the cow that gives me a top quality wendling. AI to me would be uh, a lot more convenient than using the stock bull. All you have to do is ring your AI man. If you see her in the morning, you tell him come that evening or that night. If you see him, see the cow rambling that night, you give him a ring and you'll say, I'm on for the morning. And that's as simple as that. Good heat detection is vital for efficient use of AI. Heat detection aids greatly improve the number of cows detected on heat. The most effective aid is a vasectomized bull with a harness or chimball fitted. I've started using AI in the autumn 2005 and every year since that. The stock boil had proved successful for the previous three years and then the fourth year it proved infertile. He only put a third of the cows in calf. Another essential part of successful AI is herd health and disease management. In order to get a calf per cow uh, per year, it's very important to hone in on disease control on the farm. And I have went down that route by vaccinating um, for BVD, IBR and Lepto. And certainly since I in brought in the vaccination program on the farm, I certainly have a huge improvement in conception rates here on the farm. Proven AI bulls are selected from the very best of their breed and come with reliable information on their beef quality and calving ease. The Eurostar ratings are clearly showing that the bulls of 5 star ratings and 4 star ratings are delivering much faster growing calves and much better quality calves than their comrades which may be only 1 and 2 star. So really how do you produce that quality? You need a good cow and cross with them with a good bull of top genetics of whichever breed you decide to select. The specific traits would be vital, really. I will use the ICBF indicators on all traits, like, but on top of that then, the matching of the bull to the cow, to me, is the most important factor after having the, the right type of cow. If I'm a beef finisher and I'm finishing young bulls, I'm obviously going to be a lot more interested in having growthy, good weight for age, a stock at 16, 18, 20 months of age uh, that's going to hang up very, very well and, and, and get me into good carcass weights. And for that reason, I look at beef carcass and to see does the bull score well there. Equally, if I'm a Wingland producer uh, and I'm targeting to get the live export market, the important trait for me is obviously looking at the Wheatland export value uh, and looking to see how many stars is he, three stars, four stars, five stars for that trait. So you can select the bulls, over, the overall index as I said is a culmination of all the traits but within that you need to look specifically to what you need equally if I'm out looking for a sire for heifers. 
maybe the first thing I'm going to look at is how many stars is there for Kevin, difficulty for Kevinese, and I'm going to look for three stars plus in that situation so that I know that I'm not going to get myself into a difficult Kevin situation. With the, the stock ball, I found I was having a lot of calving difficulty and maybe as many as two or three sections every year. With the AI, I've no, no sections at all, not one. And I can pick uh, easier calving balls to suit the, suit the calves. And I keep a record of them as the calf and I have them in this book here. And I, I can record their calving difficulty. I have very, very little difficulty. They, they all calve, no, no assistance at all. Nearly all, there's only a few that need a little bit of assistance. And it has done away with the need for cesarean sections. AI also gives you the ability to select for maternal traits to improve the cow herd. If you haven't your cow right, you'll not have your calf right. That means that I can pick, to the best of my knowledge, the best cows that I have and put the best maternal bulls in Ireland to them. If you can keep that happening and, and get into a system of doing that, that to me is the way forward uh, to breed better cattle. Emphasis on pelvic length and width in the cows, as, as important as selecting the easy calving sires. A number of producers are moving to autumn calving to take advantage of the higher priced markets. It would be better, I think, for, for the farmers and for the exporters if the breeding of animals and the selling of animals was broken down through the years. Plan your breeding in different times from everybody else, have animals for sale more often than no. I'm heading towards 100% autumn, autumn calving eventually. And the reason for that is that I'm at least 200 euro a head more for my weanling compared with the spring barn calf. The other benefit from autumn calving is the fact that the animal is indoor and it's certainly a lot easier to spot the animal in heat. Price wise, the highest priced calves are in the summertime of the year. If you have calves for sale from May, June, July, August, before the autumn blood comes out, that's the market to aim for. We have been selling calves into that market for the last couple of years and uh, looking at the sales of calves in the last uh, two or three sales, we've averaged over 270 a kilo for calves. That's something that won't be available once the glut of calves comes out next October and November. We kind of have half the cows will be calving in harvest and the rest of them will be calving in springtime. We like to have a few calves ready early on in the year so you have calves born in the harvest time that you can be going with in March or April when you need a few pounds. You're, you're all grade stroke O's and so on are still making two euros, 185 to two euros. The higher end, the range is anywhere from two euros, 20 up as far as 270 to 75. In some cases, three euros has been given in March. Yes, it has been, but they're exceptional animals. If I was a farmer, I would, in myself, and breeding myself, which I have some animals breeding, I would breed for the higher bracket. Because a bad cow has the same mouth as a good cow. And the cost of keeping her in Ireland, more or less, doesn't change between a good one and a bad one. Well, the main reason why I would have increased AI usage is to try and produce better cattle, which will put more money in your pocket. That is the main reason. That's the objective at the end of the day at every business you're in. Given my farming situation here on a disadvantaged farm in the west of Ireland, as a part-time farmer on a fragmented farm, AI is not an option, it's a must.